I was always puzzled by the fact that uh, uh, President Zuma was not charged in, you know, at the same time with, with, with Shapiro Sheikh because, you know, when I had a look at the, at the charge sheet and the names that were, you know, were being mentioned there and his name was quite prominent, you know, there was a clear link, you know. Um, so as we read the charge sheet, you see there's somebody missing here, you know, who should be, you know, in the talk as well. And, and of course, after the, the judgment by Judge Squire, you know, going through that, you know, and then meeting with the team of investigators and the lead prosecutor, Advocate Billy Downer, you know, we discussed the matter. I mean, it, it was sort of inevitable um, that, you know, he, he should be charged. And I had that unpleasant task of having to inform him because I didn't want him to read about this in the newspapers or, you know, just to be taken by surprise. So I felt that as the head of the NPA, I had to go and tell him that uh, the NPA was going to charge him. I must say that he was pretty cool about it. He didn't seem sort of surprised and, you know, um, he took it well, you know, but uh, he said that, well, things will, will come out one day about the actual truth. I, I couldn't understand it because I didn't think that I'd done anything wrong. And I was carrying out my functions as a public servant, uh, as a head of the NPA, and we were to do our job without fear, favor, or prejudice. And my allegiance is to the oath of office, is to the Constitution and the laws of the Republic and nothing else. And I felt that the minister then didn't have any powers whatsoever to ask me to stop an, an investigation. The president also doesn't have those powers. Prosecutors are powerful people. And if they're allowed to abuse that power, then society is facing big, big, big danger. So I felt that I had to do what my oath of office told me to do. I had to tell the minister that I'm not going to stop. I had to tell the president I'm not going to stop the, inv the investigation. I'm going to go ahead and prosecute. It's a sad state of affairs. Um, you don't want, you know, uh, politicians to meddle with institutions, you know, that are so powerful. You want people to expect justice. When the NPA takes a decision to prosecute anybody, Everybody must be convinced that it's a right decision. It's not motivated by any political issues. That is a decision taken on the basis of the facts and the application of the law and the admissible evidence that they have at their disposal. This is what will give confidence to our people that we have got institutions, you know, that are alive, you know, to the oath of office. Um, there was an application by Mr. Zuma for a stay of prosecution, and that matter was going on, and then there was this thing. And just before that, Advocate Michel had indicated that the NPA had a strong case. I don't know what to, has changed between then and now. So I think people will expect a level of consistency in the application of the law and the decision-making processes. As a member of the ANC, I, I was embarrassed. Um, because I felt that there was lots of distortion in terms of that judgment. Um, it, it's a clear judgment that the president acted in breach of the Constitution, violated the Constitution, because the Constitution has got a specific you know, duty that it, it imposes on the president. I think it's in terms of Section 82, if I'm not mistaken, uh, where the president then is required you know, to uphold and defend and respect their constitution, you see. And there was a breach of that. That's a violation of, to argue and say, you know, no, the court didn't find him to have violated, but found him to have acted inconsistently, you know. Any lawyer with his soul would know that, you know. <laughs> that's, 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 it's just trying to, you know, um, deceive and mislead the public. And I think for an for an organization like the ANC with this history and having occupied a high moral ground, we should not be seen to be misleading our people.
But for me, the issue here is that there has to be consequences. It's such a serious violation. Well, of course, the judgment it doesn't speak of a serious violation, but it's for the National Assembly to determine, you know, uh, the magnitude of the violation. For me, the issue here is that this is a very serious matter, a question of the Constitution, our constitutional democracy. Um, I think the President should be big enough to step aside.